Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a zombie horror film named Cooties. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with the shot of a chicken who is chilling on a chicken farm. Suddenly, a shady farmer shows up and grabs the chicken, causing it to scream in a chicken voice. The farmer snaps the chicken's chick neck and takes it to his factory for processing. The opening credits show how the meat from the chickens are processed into nuggets. However, something seems to be off, as these chickens appear to be infected by some kind of parasite. After production, the chicken nuggets are delivered to a local town, where kids eat them with joy. Now, we shift to an aspiring writer named Clint. We hear the news talking about how the chicken company messed up with its latest shipments and is calling back all its stock. However, Clint doesn't pay attention to this, because he's sleeping and snoring like a pig, not a chicken. He is woken up by his mom, whom he asks for feedback on his latest manuscript. She is supportive at first, but after some review, she says that he will never be good enough to write for Daniel's CC movie channel. Dejected and saddened, Clint drives to work, and we learn that he's a substitute teacher for school kids. He reaches the school, but is stopped by a guard, who mistakes him for a dealer. After that, a chicken man parks his Tesla truck next to Clint's car, and doesn't leave any room for him to get out. Clint gets out through the boot, but finds some insulting words written on his car. Clint makes his way inside the school and finds all kinds of kids, but most of them are just spoiled brats, with no sense of decency. Clint meets the school principal and has to bear through some horrible jokes. Clint is then made to hand over his cell phone because the principal believes in the pre-digital era of learning. Now, we see a teacher named Flashy talking to another teacher about his tennis partner and his massive tennis balls. This catches the attention of another teacher named Babe, but she decides to ignore Flashy's flirty words. Clint meets a teacher named Grumpy and asks her if he can use one of the coffee mugs. Grumpy is shown to be worse than the bratty kids and starts lecturing Clint for no good reason. After she leaves, the chicken man named Dwight shows up to flex his chicken muscles. Clint tries to make conversation, but Dwight simply drinks his coffee like an alpha male and walks away to assert dominance. Clint finds Babe who is his childhood friend, so they exchange some greetings rather than hormones. Clint has a crush on Babe, but an awkward teacher named Timid tries to chat with them. Dwight shows up and continues to assert dominance over Clint, but is questioned about his parking skills. Dwight tries to say that his Tesla truck is a dual-wheel vehicle, but ends up talking gibberish. He then asks about Clint's novel, so he says it's a horror story about a possessed boat. Dwight thinks Clint is just ripping off some horror stories from Daniel CC Movie Channel. It's time for class, and Babe guides Clint toward his classroom, which is right next to hers. However, we also see a bully boy mistreating a chicken girl. He and his friends say all kinds of mean things, but then the chicken girl awakens her zombie instincts. Clint tells Babe that Dwight is a jerk, but she reveals that he is her boyfriend. With Clint's hormone desires shattered, he goes to class and begins his lessons. He introduces himself, but writes his name in a misleading way. Bully acts like a jerk in front of Clint and behaves very inappropriately. However, Clint simply asks a curly boy to read out his horror novel to the class. The chicken girl becomes a zombie as Bully pulls her ponytail and removes her skin in the process. The zombie chicken girl attacks Bully and scratches Clint, after which she runs her zombified butt away. Clint takes Bully to the office, but it seems as if he has become infected. As the guard consumes some recreational items, Clint tells Babe about what happened in class. Meanwhile, Dwight plays basketball with himself, but gets jealous when he sees Babe laughing with Clint. The real danger, however, is the zombie chicken girl who attacks Bully's friend and infects him as well. The guard is experiencing life in another dimension, and then he sees zombie kids running around and infecting other kids. A bald teacher threatens to shave the kids, bald like his, if they don't calm down. But the kids rip him and another teacher to pieces, providing them with some teaching positions in hell. The guard calls up the principal and tells him about the zombie kids, so the principal goes outside to handle the situation. As expected, he is also attacked and eaten in a brutal sequence. Timid casually points out the chaos to the other teachers, so they watch on as Dwight finally realizes that he's been surrounded by zombie kids. He channels his alpha man energy and takes down the zombie kids as he rushes into the school building. What he doesn't realize is that Bully has also become a zombie and has ended his nurse. Flashy calls the cops, but the line gets disconnected thanks to Zombie Bully. Nobody has their phones because of the rules, but a cop eventually shows up with his bulletproof car. 
Unfortunately, his fingers get bitten off, so he gets back into his cop car, hoping it's also zombie-proof. Suddenly, a zombie girl attacks him inside and ends him without mercy. Dwight runs into the other teachers, but so does Zombie Bully. Clint attacks him, but accidentally hits Dwight in a passive-aggressive manner. Zombie Bully attacks Clint, and a hilarious sequence follows as he gets mace in his eyes. Eventually, a random teacher is attacked and locked inside a closet with Zombie Bully. Clint grabs his bag, and the team runs away, after which they see a CrossFit getting eaten by the zombie kids. They then meet Curly, who is still human, so they take him in. The team goes upstairs, but Zombie Bully breaks out of the closet and opens the doors to allow the other zombie kids inside. The team has no idea what's going on, as Zombie Chicken Girl charges at them. Curly says that this is all because of Cougism, which had originated from Zombie Chicken Girl. Timon agrees with him, and then Dwight plans an escape route, but chooses violence with a violin. Clint feels that everyone should go get their phones from the principal's office instead, but Zombie Bully is smashing all the phones to pieces. Dwight and Clint have an argument, where Dwight claims that his novel is about a hormone boat. He even calls Clint a hobbit, but then Babe calms them down. She suggests waiting for the parents to come at 3 p.m. to pick up their kids. This way, the team can signal for help. Clint starts to feel uneasy, and the group finds the scratch mark on his arm from when Zombie Chicken Girl attacked him. Dwight immediately locks up Clint, because he thinks he's become infected by the zombie virus. Meanwhile, the guard is having the trip of a lifetime while watching the zombie kids. Timid states that Clint might be infected, but he is only exhibiting mild symptoms, which include unwanted leakage. Grumpy asks Timid how he knows this, so he says he used his hands to analyze Clint's leakage. However, he wasn't wearing any gloves, so it leads to a disgusting sight. Dwight still decides to keep Clint locked till 3 p.m., but gets jealous when he sees Babe smiling at him. Time passes by, with horrifying sights of the zombie kids playing around with human body parts. At 3 p.m., a mom shows up to pick up her kid. The team signals to her not to open the door for the zombie kid, but she is too busy listening to music with her baby in the backseat. The zombie kid enters the car and turns the baby into a zombie, after which he attacks his own mother. The team watches on in horror, and then we see a human girl nicknamed Period, who joins them for survival. The zombie kids notice the team and charge at them, so they run away and lock themselves inside a room. A zombie kid attacks Timon, so Dwight smashes his smelly face with a fire extinguisher. Babe tries to keep the human kids calm, and then Timon investigates the zombie kid's black blood. Period panics, so Babe tells her that no one here is infected. However, Period reveals an injury and gets locked inside the washroom. Timon examines the black blood but decides to go for the brain next. Meanwhile, the guard listens to the news talking about zombie kids' attacks in other schools as well, probably because they also ate the zombie nuggets. Babe meets her boyfriend Dwight, but he is mad at her for flirting hormones with Clint. Babe says they are just friends, but Dwight tells her to get lost with her flirty body. Now, Timid shows the rotten brain to the team and explains that this is the work of a virus. He knows all of this because he has always been fascinated by the human brain ever since he was a kid. Timid asks Period if she's become pubescent, and she says yes. He then realizes that the virus is only deadly if the infected person hasn't passed puberty, which means that Period is safe. Suddenly, the lights go out because Zombie Bully messes with the power grid. Curly faints because he has low blood sugar, so the team needs to revive him with a snack. Suddenly, they hear some loud knocking, but it's only a janitor. He saves the team from some zombie kids and leads them to his secret room. The teen listens to the radio and learns that the government has ordered an evacuation. All hope seems to be lost for Curly, but Clint refuses to back down. He learns from Dwight that his truck keys are in the principal's office, and then he finds a vent. Clint says the team can use the vents to reach a vending machine and save Curly with a snack. He also plans to grab Dwight's keys and the phones so that the team can drive away to safety. The vents are small, so Clint is told to crawl through them. Babe decides to join him, but Dwight doesn't like this, so they get into an argument. Babe loses her mind and screams at her shitty boyfriend Dwight. She then joins Clint and they crawl through the vents, but make some noise and alert a zombie cycle girl. A tense moment follows, but the couple manages to sneak through the vents. Babe goes for Dwight's keys and the phones, while Clint tries to retrieve a snack from the vending machine. However, the machine doesn't work, and then the cycle girl shows up. Soon enough, the vending machine starts working, and the noise alerts all the zombie kids. Clint takes the snack and joins Babe as they rush through the vents. 
the zombie kids chase after them. So Clint passes the snack to Dwight, after which he and Babe choose another route to create a distraction. Babe and Clint reach the nurse's office and seal the vents. Flashy loses his patience and begins to panic, so Dwight tells him to calm down. Flashy takes a deep breath but gets slapped by Timid because he is a bit slow. Babe starts crying and rests on Clint for moral support, so he uses this chance to make a confession. He tells Babe that he was hoping to run into her at the school because he is actually a looser in real life. Babe seems to like looser boys and engages in a smelly tongue massage with Clint. Their massage is cut short after they both realize that hormones are not the current priority. Dwight and the others talk about their dreams and passions, but Timid makes it weird when he mentions getting freaky with a night lady. Dwight radios Babe and apologizes for his rude behavior earlier. He even says that he loves her and was feeling jealous of Clint. Clint interrupts the couple and tells Dwight that he is quite handsome. This lightens the mood, and then Clint shares an escape plan. He proceeds to trick some of the zombie kids into eating some poison and knocks them out. Now, Dwight inspires the others with a speech, after which we see an intense montage, where the team equips themselves with all kinds of weapons. The team discusses the escape plan over the radio, and it catches the attention of the guard as well as Zombie Bully, who has woken up. The team goes out to play, and Dwight is absolutely brutal as he attacks the zombie kids with a pitching machine. He only goes for headshots and emerges victorious, after which the team breaks out of the school. However, Janitor stays back to fight the zombie kids with his ninja moves. There are too many zombie kids outside, but Dwight leads his team to a brutal battle. An intense scene follows as everyone uses up all their skills and strength to take down the zombie kids. However, the going gets tough as they start to struggle, and even Janitor's ninja moves aren't enough to defeat his opponents. Eventually, Dwight sacrifices himself and charges at the zombie kids to fight them, while the others get into his Tesla truck. Bait watches in fear but full of gratitude as the zombie kids consume her shitty boyfriend, presumably sending Dwight to meet Jesus. Clint consoles her using both words and muscles before driving the team away to safety. However, the truck runs low on gas and zombie bully suddenly attacks Clint. Luckily, Clint shakes him off and ends his zombie life with a rear smash. The truck runs out of gas upon reaching the neighboring town and the team finds death everywhere. The news talks about the zombie apocalypse and explains how it's been caused by the parasite chicken nuggets. Timid seems to know a way to make a vaccine for the virus, but he needs to get a sample first. Suddenly, the team is attacked by new zombie kids, so they rush into a building. After that, the team realizes that they are in a fun zone where someone held a birthday party. There are parasite chicken nuggets lying around, so Timid picks up a piece for analysis. However, the team quickly realizes that they're surrounded by zombie kids. It's not looking good for them, but Dwight and Janitor miraculously appear out of nowhere. They seemed to have survived the attack in the school and had also found the guard, who finally became sober and drove them here. Everyone makes a run for it, while Dwight uses a water gun but is actually spraying fuel on the zombie kids. He then lights them up for an epic final. Dwight shows off his alpha male vibes to assert dominance once more, and the movie ends with the team driving away to an unknown destination. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.